Sean Angry. I've been in this town over 20 years. Served my country to it. I got something to say. Probably not going to want to hear it. I appreciate you letting me finish it. You so-called representatives should be ashamed of yourselves in the first place for whoring the deaths of innocent citizens after a tragedy. You should also be more educated before passing bills incorrectly and all unlawfully. You seem to have no problem making felons out of law-abiding citizens and think yourselves above the law you were put in office to protect. When will you understand that criminals will always commit crimes no matter how many laws are passed? And tragedy will happen no matter how many laws are passed, such as life. What you should be doing is abiding by excuse me, abiding by our Constitution and stop trying to change it at every opportune tragedy that occurs for your own personal agenda. Like I stated earlier, pouring the deaths of innocence for personal gain and fame. We are not as ignorant as you may think us. Every little baby step you take against our freedoms brings us closer each day to your agenda of socialism. You do not have the right to change the Constitution a little at a time in unlawful fashion as you just did recently. I'm going to yell fire right now. Is that okay with you? You need to focus oh, on keeping. My first amendment right? Hold on. Okay. You need to focus on keeping criminals, criminals out of your, Ugh. out of our communities and severely punishing crimes committed with illegal weapons, not punishing innocent people and taking away their rights to defend themselves against criminals. You also need to focus on the people commonly associated with tragedies, those with mental health problems that the system seems to sweep under the rug and does not address. This is where time and effort and money should be spent, not on the people that spend their life abiding by laws and making a living and trying to enjoy our freedoms we fought so hard for, shed blood for, and lost loved ones for. If you don't like the way this country was founded and the laws that were put in place to keep people such as yourselves from destroying it, then leave and go somewhere else. Don't hide your agendas behind tragedies. Man up, tell the truth, and then take it somewhere else because we don't want it in our town, our state, or our country. How is making law-abiding citizens register an already registered weapon going to stop a tragedy? How is making a law-abiding citizen register a clip for a weapon that has been in that person's possession for years that you all of a sudden deem dangerous but <clears throat> going to stop a tragedy? It does not. How is registering a long gun that is already registered and doing a background check on people that already have them and fingerprinted ten times going to stop a tragedy? It won't. Do not. Do, do you get it, or are you just plain dumb? It just puts us closer to the government's agenda of disarming its law-abiding citizens. I stress, law-abiding citizens, under the thumb of tyranny. Does this sound familiar? Because to me it sounds all too familiar. And if you pretend you don't know what I'm speaking of, then you're part of the problem facing America today. I could go on and on, but it seems to fall on deaf ears, so we need to change those ears real soon and put real Americans back in office as soon as possible. What rights are you preparing to take away next, I ask you? And also, for you, Mr. Yaccarino, you should be ashamed of yourself even more so. You seem to have a double standard at the cost of self-respect and profit. You sell comic books in your business, promoting violence and criminal activity. And you sit in office and pass bills against the same. You, sir, are a hypocrite and disgust me and look forward to you being out of office business for these actions. Sleep well on that note. Thank you for allowing me to exercise my freedom of speech while we still have a little of that left. Yes, sir. And I can ask just one other question. I wish I said it before this gentleman rudely made his speech. You can have respect even if we disagree. That's part of the process. And I respect your views and respect the fact that you don't like the bill and respect the reasons why you say you don't like the bill. But you can 